If you want to know how you can make your own spawn choice on death system just like jailbreaks one, you're going to have to make sure you watch this video all of the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own spawn choice on death system. So Jailbreak recently updated with a little system where if you die you can choose where you will spawn. I'm going to be demonstrating that really really quickly so I'm getting a jet I'm going to fly up to give myself some fall damage uh, just so I can demonstrate it to you. So as you can see I just died and I can choose my spawn location over here. And I want to spawn at the military base, which is this one over here. So I'm just going to click mil military base. And then as you can see, I spawned at the military base exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to spawn at the military base, and I spawned at the military base. So that is exactly what we're going to be recreating today in Roblox Studio. If you're new to my channel and you like this tutorial, make sure to give this video a like if you like it. And if you don't like it, please drop a dislike on the video because honest feedback really helps me out a lot. And make sure you become a member, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and comment down below what next video you want. Every comment gets a heart from me. So that is exactly what I wanted to say. So without further ado, let's hop right into the tutorial. Well, hello there and welcome back to this brand new tutorial. My name is Newbie and I'm going to be guiding you through this entire tutorial. So, what you want to do first... In the, in the description, there is a link. You want to click on that link, you want to get the model, and then come back to Roblox Studio. So do that right now, go to the description immediately, click the link, get the model for free, because it's free. And then all you have to do is just join back Roblox Studio, and that's all you have to do. Now that you are in Roblox Studio, we can go to View at the top, and we can go to Toolbox. And it will open this little uh, thingy over here where you can import things. So we're gonna go to my models, so basically your models, but and that is the four blocks at the top, inventory. So just click on that, and all of your models you have will load in, and all you want to do is click on spawn choose newbie, so click on that. Includes two scripts, don't worry about it, just click OK. And then uh, you can click the toolbox away. And you might be wondering, newbie, why do we spawn all the way over here? It's because all of the spawn locations are uh, separated over the map. Or like, all over the map. So, to get back, just click on spawn location and just press F. And that makes you teleport to the beginning again. Exactly where you want to. So, now we need to, uh, like, kind of like extract it, I guess. So, what you want to do, open the folder. You will see replicated storage. Start your GUI, workspace, and server script service. Don't ask me why I did it in a different order. Anyways, I just open the folder and you'll see spawn death. And just put this in replicated storage as the folder name is. You'll see server script service. Just put it in server script service. Start your GUI goes into start your GUI. Workspace goes into workspace. And now you can simply delete all of these folders. And that is your game set up. Editing newbie coming in the chat. Hello guys. Um, I made a little mistake and all you have to do to fix it is go to player service Disable character auto loads and set the respawn time to zero just like that. Now. Let's carry on with the tutorial. Let's go Now all you have to do is code this thing out so uh, we're gonna be coding the server script over here and the client script over here those are the two scripts we are going to be coding. We're going to start off with the server script, and then we will go to the client script, and then I will do a recap on what we did. I will be explaining the system, show you how to customize it, and all of that. So, thank you for watching, enjoy the video, and make sure you keep up.
So now that we have coded everything, we have now entered the recap section. So what I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be explaining the code. This is only for the people who want to learn, I guess. So uh, if you have the code, you can just click away, I guess. Anyways, the server script, we are checking for a players and a replicated storage service. You're checking if the player gets added into the game. So if a player joins, we are creating a number value with the name spawn chosen. So uh, what that does over here, we are checking if your character has been loaded. And then when you respawn, this always gets fired. So then we can just check if you have another spawn location chosen. And if that's true, we can teleport you. And then we can reset it back. Uh, just so that if you don't choose anything, you just get respawned at the, spawn uh, the normal spawn location. It's a really cool system. Uh, if you died, we will start the countdowns, you know, like uh, the, the choose spawn, and then you can choose your actual spawn, like with the auto respawns and stuff. And when you join the game, we will load your character, uh, because why not? Over here, spawn death on server event. So if you are just going to be respawning, we will just reload your character. But if you chose a spawn location, we can go over here, spawn chosen dot value is equal to two number number. So we could just put that number into your number value because if it's other than zero, then you're going to get teleported to there. So now for the um, client script, service, because why not, replicated storage, just some variables defining the GUIs, a count number, continue and success. So this is the first one. If you click on like choose spawn this one gets to true so we can start another countdown and if you chose something on the uh like the actual choosing thingy the choosing gui where you can choose where you want to be then we will set this one to true so it's like continue one continue two kind of like that uh as, as i said if uh, the, the died one gets fired we will just start the countdown and then uh, when you click on start you know like uh, like choose spawn location then we can do the second countdown, and then when you click one of the spawn locations, uh, we will just do that. But yeah, because because why not? You know, we just do that, and then we are good to go. So that is uh, kind of the entire uh, so the the entire system. So we should test it out right now. So now we can test this system out. So let's click play. Yada di yada do. Let's go. Okay, so now we're in the game, and we can just do reset and boom. Just like that. Three, two, one, and if we do nothing, we get it auto respawned. Boom. We just auto respawned. Now let's do it again. Boom. Choose spawn. Now let's wait for this countdown. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and respawn. As you can see, boom, we get respawned. Yahoo. Pro. Now let's choose an actual spawn location. So this is a rough map of the spawn locations. So blue should be like right over there or there. But let's go purple. Three, two, one, purple. And we get respawned at the purple spawn location. Because that's what I want it to be. So now let's reset again. And we can go hmm, green. And I get respawned at green. Now let's do it again. Blue one. Why not? And I get respawned at blue, and lastly, of course, red. And it doesn't matter if you reset and then go to red again. It will just go to red. So we could just do purple again. So before I end this video off, I want to show you how you can customize this system right over here. So let me just uh, magically make the frame appear over here. So this is your little spawn location, whatever you want to call it. So now what you want to do, you want to enter, you want to open this frame, and you'll see these text buttons. And you just want to duplicate one of them, just like that, and then just drag it around somewhere. So you just want to make a, a rough estimate of where that is. So I want it to be at the top right of the map. So I'm just going to put it at the top right. And I can make it a different color. So I'm going to make it hmm, orange, I guess. Green. Nope, orange. As you can see, now it's orange. And uh, in the text button, there is a value. And you want to name this one. Well, this one is spawn location number five. Because we got one, two three four five so make sure this one is set to five and then you can close this frame up you can hide this away now you want to go to locations in workspace and you want to duplicate one of the spawn locations so i'm going to duplicate it i'm going to give it the name five and as i said i want it to be at the top right of the map so let me just go to the top right of the map 
right over here, as you can see. And now I, all I have to do is just make it orange, because it is a orange spawn location. And now all I have to do is play my game, and then let's see what I can do. So let me just load in real quick. Okay, I can now die. I can choose my spawn location. I want to be at orange, so I'm going to go to orange, 3, 2, 1, orange. And as you can see, I spawn back at the orange spawn location. This is exactly how you customize your system. So let's go ahead and continue with the video. So this is how you make a choose spawn on death system kind of thingy, which jailbreak did exactly in their game. So if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure to give this video a like if you like it. And if you don't like it, please drop the video, a, uh, please drop a dislike on the video because uh, honest feedback really helps me out a lot. Uh, subscribe, become a member. Turn on notifications, do anything you want to support me, join my Discord server, and all I have to say is that my name is Newbie, and I say, peace out.